Hi, we're really looking forward to the AWS team coming here in a couple of weeks time. And, what, and before you get here, I'm hoping you can help us with a couple of things we'd really like to do. Last time when the team came, they visited a small, a small school in Tenkulun, a village, um, a, a seaside village, which was deeply affected by COVID. While you were here, we upgraded a schoolroom, you played with the children, it was a fantastic day, loads of activities. Now, that school has a second room, which we really like to upgrade, and we're hoping that you can do some fundraising to do that. As well as that school, there's a second school, which is called the Suwung Dump School. Well, it has a better name, but that's what it's really well known as. And this is a school next to the big dump in Sunua, and it's the school where the children of the rag pickers go to school. So these children don't go to any proper schools, any formal schools, government schools. They go have reduced school hours, but they go to this school. It's a two room school. It's very sweet. And one of the rooms we've already done up, but the second room needs to be done. So these are two small schools helping uh, very disadvantaged communities and giving them access to much better um, equipment etc. So in the school we renovate the room, paint it, put in child-friendly illustrations, audio-visual equipment which is um, projector, speakers etc. We also prepare, we train the teachers to teach our remedial reading, writing and counting curriculum and our English as a foreign language curriculum. So they're the curriculums we deliver in. These curriculums are highly animated, audio-visual and the equipment makes it all work. But besides the teacher training and the curriculum, we also have some books that we want to deliver in, to the children. And firstly is a book that's to do with literacy. Now this is actually an English version of the book, but there is an Indonesian version. And the beauty of this book is that it talks about sounds that go with words, and it also has the way to learn to write. So super powerful book and important for each child to have one of these as an exercise book to help them build their skills towards literacy. Besides that, we've got the English as a foreign language uh, dictionaries. So this is one for very young children. So it's very simple, big pictures, words in English and Indonesian. Um, yeah, all illustrated all the different things the children can learn and the words for things that are around them every day. The children who are a little bit older, the ones who are the pre-teeners, we've got this book which is similarly pictorial, it's actually Disney based, um, but the, the thing is the story, there's stories, it's a bit more going on and it it's yeah more advanced, so, but again it's a dictionary so that's good stuff. Besides that, we have a number of, or, of bilingual or trilingual books. So the trilingual books being English, Indonesian and Balinese, which of course is mother tongue for many of the children, particularly at Tengulong. So this is a really cool book. It's bilingual, not trilingual. It's set in Papua New Guinea and it's beautifully illustrated and it talks about the problem of plastic in the ocean. Now for the children of Tenkulu, that's massively relevant because they live on a small peninsula. So from one side of the village to the other is each side of the peninsula. So, you know, having a book about the environment and about um, plastic in the ocean is super relevant to them. There's loads of other books, of course, that are part of the package. That's just to give you a bit of an idea. So what I'm asking you to do is if you could possibly do some fundraising for us so we can do these rooms. Now, it's not a lot of money uh, and it'll make a massive difference. So the whole budget's about two and a half thousand US dollars. Um, and that'll do the two rooms. It's 1,250 per room. Um, you know, if each of you give $12, it's done. So it'd be great if you can help with this if we end up raising more money, we'll do another school because we've got another little school um, in South Bali, which needs a lot of help. And that's a school for the people who don't have KTPs, that means identity cards, so the children can't go to government schools and they go to this little, again, small school. So there's always little villages that we can help with these projects. So. If you get really excited and spend quite a lot you uh, and raise quite a lot, you'll be able to help us to do more work. Either way, 
so pleased you're coming. Really looking forward to the program that's planned. It's going to be super exciting. And do please help us with some fundraising before you get here. Thank you very much. And thank you for noticing Bali Children Foundation. Bye.